Hey YouTube, good morning. Uh, it's a very um, overcast and pretty miserable Saturday morning in London. The weather forecast for the whole weekend is pretty bad. Um, all of the blossom is being blown off my apple tree, which probably is bad news for how many apples I'm going to get later on in the year. So when the weather is really dreary, what's the best thing we can all do? Yep, it's take a look at another few gold coins that have arrived for grading from Silver Forum members. Um, no bull, yes bull, the black bull of Clarence. And uh, this has arrived, the quarter ounce black bull. And uh, it's interesting, there's a pattern, there's definitely a pattern to the coins that are picked up, at least in the UK, for sending to NGC for grading. Clearly, it's going to be a different pattern in other places, in America and the rest of Europe. But, you know, time and time again, what am I seeing people buy? Sovereigns. People are buying sovereigns. I show so many sovereigns on my channel only because that's what people want to buy, sovereigns. Um, I see quite a few Britannias, but not as many as sovereigns. Clearly, this is where the money is going at the moment in the UK. Uh, the Queen's Beasts, yep, there's a lot of people who collect those. Uh, I still think they're a little bit overpriced for a new issue, and they might very well suffer a little bit in the secondary market at some stage. However, the, sovereign, the sovereigns, particularly the special date sovereigns, are going up. We had a little discussion on these special date sovereigns on one of the Facebook groups the other day, and uh, people were saying, yeah, the 2002, 2005... They've gone up quite a lot of money. Have they still got somewhere to go in terms of value? And nobody really ever knows that. But when you see the 2002 and 2005 now sell in regular auctions, that price premium is now being reflected over and above generic sovereigns in the, in the main auctions. In fact, even the regional auction houses, whenever they come up for sale. Um, I saw one the other day, 25 gold sets of four... Uh, I bought one of the sets, which you'll see in another video, but the 1989 went for massive money. The 2002 went for a really significant premium over the regular sovereigns. So clearly this thing of special date sovereigns and the special designs has captured people's imagination. And uh, whether or not you should go in now and buy them, I don't know. You know, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, what I would say is that uh, you're seeing an average price of in the in the mid 400s now for some of these 2005 and 2002 sort coins, but you are seeing eight to nine hundred pounds for a 2012, and you're seeing a thousand eleven hundred pounds for a 1989. So in many ways, there is actually quite a lot more potential future gain. For the 2002 now and the 2005. Um, if you don't want to buy into that premium kind of story then regular proof sovereigns are a little bit of a sleeper because all the dates that are left, which is every other date that wasn't special, um, is available for a reasonable markup. They're, they're generally a few pounds more than a bullion equivalent uh, but I think in a way a better numismatic buy um, because although they're a proof coin and they're all in the hands of collectors sometimes there are hundreds of thousands or millions produced of the regular bullion sovereigns they will only ever be worth you know a couple of percentage points maybe three percent more than spot um, there is i think a slightly bigger uh, upswing potentially possible for the um for the proof versions, particularly in years where maybe the mintage wasn't that great. Uh, and it also might be worth looking at some of the strike on the day sovereigns, uh, where they're available at a reasonable price. Um, I don't necessarily suggest going out to buy, buy them at some huge price, uh, buy it now on eBay, but um, they may be something that's worthwhile if you can get them at a good price, maybe in a low start auction or something like that. So uh, the last one that I want to show you is uh, one where the guy sent over this coin for grading, um, sent it over in the box, 
Um, if you're watching this coin and you're, you're watching this and you're in the silver forum, please try not to send the boxes because uh, I've then got to look after the boxes while they're in for grading. And then it's a bigger packet when they send, need to get sent back as well. But uh, in this case, I was actually quite happy to see this box because uh, uh, it gives me a chance to do an unboxing for you, a kind of impromptu full unboxing. And it's not a coin that I've featured on the channel before. Um, but it is a coin I, I kind of quite like. Um, it's obviously a proof coin, comes in a nice box. It's premium packaging from the Perth Mint. These things, I know, having seen them in Downies and places like that over in Australia, they are pretty, um, um, pretty premium when you buy them from Perth Mint or when you buy them in coin shops over in Australia. But um, what you've got here is a slightly fatter than average quarter ounce gold coin. So it doesn't look quite as big as some other quarter ounce gold coins in terms of uh, diameter, but it is that tiny bit thicker. So that's obviously where the gold is bundled into. And um, a lot of people have a soft spot for kangaroos. Um, I don't know why. I've, uh, I've, I haven't seen that many of them, but um, the red kangaroo, I think, is um, one of the big Australian kind of giant kangaroos. And somebody can help me out on that one. Is it the biggest one or are there bigger kangaroos than the red kangaroo? Or have I got it totally arse about face and actually uh, it's actually the smallest kangaroo or something like that? Four nines fine, proof coin, part of a long series of coins, um, kangaroo coins that are produced every year. Some of them have a couple of kangaroos on, some of them have singles, uh, but quite a lot of people collect them. The bullion ones tend to be pure bullion, really. They go for um, a tiny premium, but really not very much of a premium over the gold content. I don't know what the market is for these proof ones, whether it's uh, healthy, but um, it does seem that when people buy Perth Mint gold proofs, they're either buying the Australian Sovereign uh, or, um, to a lesser extent, this kangaroo coin. And this is the first one I've seen uh, over in the UK. And it's certainly the first one I've seen being sent for grading. So uh, it's interesting to have it here. Whether or not this kind of coin is uh, worth a premium when it's graded, I guess if it gets a 70, it should do pretty well. But uh, let's have a look and take a look at uh, the facts and figures from the COA. 25th anniversary coin, so maybe that gives it a little bit of a premium. Um, anniversary coins always seem to be worth a little bit more than the regular ones. And you've got um, no more than 1,600 um, in this packaging, but there's a maximum mintage of 2,000 for this coin um, generally. So obviously it appears in some kind of other sets. Maybe they produce a three coin set with different sizes as well. So, uh, I mean, all in all, it's a really nice coin. Let me know what you guys think of uh, these arrivals.